Hello everyone and welcome back to the Florist mod. I have changed our banners to the tree because it reminds me of Gondor and I like Gondor. So we're going to be rolling with this banner at least for now. I can change it at any time. So, uh, But that's what we're going to be going with right now. So I've been playing this game for, I don't know, hour and a half, two hours maybe. Just trying to get my money back up. I've spent a lot more money in buying lands in Praven to have a higher income from there. I've got, let's see, a decent number of the Slave Hunter line of troops that have just been dominating the bandits as always. And I think my best bet to start my own nation is obviously going to be taking out the Swadians, even though I was just working with them. Because they're the only ones that have just one single castle. Now the problem is, taking them out though, is that expansion. The only um, place we can expand to that makes sense... You know, it obviously just to be expanded outward from here, but going to war with the Nords is not exactly going to be a, a good thing. So, I don't know. I'm still kind of torn up on what I want to do. I really would like to kill the Rodox, but the Rodox are going to be pretty hard to take out too. But I would like to start in Yalen, take that out, and then just move out from there. I don't know. But we're still going to be just building up our money, taking out Forest Bandits. Nothing too special in this episode, unfortunately. <laughs> Nothing too exciting. Other than I did get my Tactus guy back, finally. So that's cool. And I have a ton of archers. As you can see right there. So yeah, these freelancers are pretty cool. I like them. There we go, there we go. We should be seeing the kills coming. Anytime now. There we go. Alright, let's send in the calf. The bandits have been weakened by the archers. It's time to knock out the rest and sell them into slavery. Boom. And by knock out, I mean just kill. <laughs> ah, we get enough slaves from this one. So what I was hoping would happen is that someone would ask me to join them as mercenaries, but that has not happened yet. I don't care who asks. I'd be down with joining almost anybody, except for Swadia. And maybe the Vagirs, actually, because they're not that strong. Okay, now we go back to Suno. Sell these guys off. And this is basically what I've been doing. Hmm. You know what? Let me take a quick look at Shellback Castle. Because like I said, they, they would be the easiest to take out without repercussions. Besides them, we have the Vague Ears, but they're deep inside... Nor territory, and then uh, these are the yeah the Kirjits, also not in the best position. It's nice to have my money and come from all of the cities again. That's nice, but I, I do think the best bet is going to be trying to take out the Rodox. I think they're currently at war with the Serenids, but I'm in no position to take them out yet. So what I would really like to do is take over Chalbeck and use that as a place to just deposit troops. Then I can just start making my party members lords and ladies. And... What is it? Oh, okay, this is the money. Um, what was it? I lost my train of thought. 
Right, yes. Make those my, my companions, lords and ladies, so then they can lead their own armies. That um, I can pull from this castle to give them soldiers. So if Chalbak isn't that well defended, I think it probably is. But just in case it isn't, if I think I can take it, then I'll take it. And from there we will recruit armies to give to our companions who will now be lords and ladies. And then we'll make a strike deep inside Rodok territory, I think. But only if they're at war with the Serenids. In fact, it would probably be best to wait for them to make a truce at this point, and then wait for the start of a new war. Yeah, that would probably be the best. That gives me time to build up my forces anyway. And this is the only infantry I have currently. I think they're all freelancers. Yeah. But yeah, I, I like the look of this banner on these soldiers more. Because it has like the black back instead of the yellow, and the front looks pretty cool with the tree. And of course, I'm just like, this is Gondor. I guess it's the yellow tree of Gondor, not the white tree, but still, it's it's close enough. Now the cavalry swoops in. And the Sea Raiders die. Victory. We win again, our like 500th battle against bandits, yay! Uh, we have no room for anybody, which is unfortunate, but we'll take as many of these guys as we can. Upgrade these guys. A Lordly Red Raider Hallbrook. And someone took that, Nizar did, okay. You've earned it, Nazar. Let's make a quick stop in Tyr. It's probably not how you pronounce that. Ooh, Traveler. Palantus Katrin. Yes, where is she? Ikamur. Hmm. It's not too close, but okay. Slave Trader is not what I really want, though. I keep forgetting this to see that. That has the slave trader, and he only um, buys for fifty per head, no matter who they are. I could get more. Whew. Inventory full of food, but hey, when you're rolling with an army this size, it makes sense. Let me sell my items. Okay, now let's check on the defenses at Chalbrek. The one castle that I would leave for last if I can is going to be Tavarin. Screw that castle. It's the worst. Any castle that forces you to start outside of its walls and then just sacrifice troops is terrible. Alright, so... Clias is sitting in there with only one person because he sucks. Stalmar and Despin, are they new? And then there's Delinar, their marshal. Unfortunately, that's too strong for me right now. If all of those lords are gone, I think I can take the, the garrison. Probably. Siege them up with all my archer superiority, and I think I would be fine, but that's not the case. All those lords are just sitting in there. Funny enough, Isolda wasn't in there, though. I do have to be careful going through this territory. There are just so many Sea Raiders. Alright. Let's head back to Suno. Let's upgrade our people.
Okay. So yeah, no, nothing too exciting to forward our cause, but this is just stuff that needs to be done. Getting money. Since I spent so much for Lady Azola. So much. Oh, what a waste of time. Ah, well. It's all good. Let's see. Archers. Let's put up here. Cav, okay, let's just charge right now. Infantry. Actually, no, 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 no. Infantry, stay back. I'm gonna go on the ground for this one. Sometimes you just gotta get into the thick of it, you know? Show your troops that you are worth following. By killing people who are distracted by your troops. <laughs> That's how I do. Jump for joy. Okay, oh, you know what, what I did mean to do is to change a lot of my people into cavalry. My companions here. Yeah, I meant to do that. Okay, done. Alright. So let's go back to Suno. Sell these guys off. And I think I'm going to buy some horses. Ooh, but they don't... Hold on. Let me look over my people. Oh, that, that doesn't do it. Um, forts? Here we go. Alright, so they all at least have riding one. Okay, good to know. Riding three, Floris, Gazrin has two. I'll probably just get... Oh, horses. Actually, these guys already have horses. So I need three. Oh, no, no, no. I need two. Jeremus is our medic. I don't want him in the fights. So I need two. Level ones. Okay, well. It's not the best horse, but we'll take it. Head back. I think it was Audible. Oops, nope, equipment. There we go. All right, you get the timid horse. Never mind, never mind. And let's make you calf. Cav. And then Gaz Wayne, let's talk to you. What? Oh, it requires re oh darn it. Darn it. How'd I miss that? Ah, oh, crap. They do not have horses crappy enough. Ah. Alright, sell that one off. Duh, I'll still keep that one. It's okay. It's a city close by. Plus, I think I can get money from my land here. Not yet. Okay. Let me buy some more land, in fact. There we go. So now I'm up to 132 acres. Nice. Okay. Man, that horse is terrible. Here we go. Cool. Now let's talk to Gaswain. 
Hello, buddy. Boom. Okay. I probably... You know, I, pr I probably should change their items now, though. They shouldn't all have bows. If I'm going to make them cav, I should have them get lances. Okay. Manage upgrading of companions' equipment. Let me do... Uh, I guess... Polearm. One-handed. Shield. And... Throwing weapon, maybe? I'll apply this to everyone. I really wish I could increase the price threshold. And then I'll go to Jeremis and then change him back to just arrows, bow, uh, shield, and then one-handed. And just will not apply to everyone. So that should work, right? Pull arm, pull arm, pull arm, arrow, cool. Okay. Now what? More more people, I guess. More bandits to kill. Hmm. Rodox are on the move. Not my concern. I don't want to fight around a river. Let's fight here. Shoot. Sorry. I lied. I do have business with you. And I will take off the wedge formation on the cab for this one. Alright. Archers, let's move you up a bit. Cav, move the lines down. So I like the setup with, I think I have them standing closer twice and then in ranks formation because it keeps them just far away from each other that they can all fire. So they're not blocking each other's line of sight. I like this condensed line more than just a long line because if these guys are not in a ranked formation with standing closer, this line would just be spreading so far, it's ridiculous. And you're dead. Uh, never mind, I lied. Let me try that again. There we go. Nice job, man hunters. The carnage left behind. So, most of these freelancers are actually max level. The only ones that go to level 6 would be the cavalry freelancers. Um, which is pretty cool. Ah, uh, I guess still have 23 level 4s here. I'm hoping for great things from these freelancers. Okay. Let's make a stop off here. I have found that a ransom broker likes to stay up here. In this room, that's just a wandering bar. Crap. I think I'm just going to buy some lances for my troops. We don't exactly fight a lot of people with lances. But require strength 11. That may be a problem. Actually, that's going to be a big, big problem, I think.
this. Oh, yeah, there's the strength. Okay. So only three people can use lances with strength 11, everyone else is 8. Okay. So this is going to be okay. That's going to be okay. Hmm. Guess I'll go buy that. Okay. Oh, whoops, whoops, sorry, I don't, I don't want to talk to you. Hello, my friend. Okay, boom. Now oh, you look like a, like a me. Number of troops killed, 141. Oh my goodness, nice. You're a killer. Yeah. Lord Stamara of the Kingdom of Swadia was defeated, that's good. Sounds like the Rodox are still giving it to the Swadians. The weaker they are, the easier it will be for me to take their last castle. And then I'll have to explain to Zolo that it's nothing personal. It's just business. That's what they say in the movies, right? Before they kill people. <laughs> like, I don't know, killing a person, that's pretty personal. Let's see, 21 people. Let's just have the cap charge here, I think. No need to weaken them up with arrows. Where's my companions? That's a swatting cap to my right. Hmm. Oh, they're in here somewhere. This giant cloud of dust. All right, quick battle. I'll take those. None of those people interest me. Hmm. Alright, let's find another band here. There we go. Ah, uh, well, you know what? Yeah, let me change commander. I don't think I've ever played as Oddville. Plus, she has a. Oh, no, no, no. I want to play someone with the Lance. So, Nizar. Yeah, let's play the Nazar. Yes. Oh, do I have auto couch on? I didn't actually press a button. Huh. I thought there was only a certain amount of time that these thing remains couched like that. Oh, that was terrible. That was terrible. Boom! <laughs> Improved from 2 to 94? Oh my god. With one kill? What? If 
by th oh by three. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I was reading that wrong. <laughs> I was I was not as funny knowing that I only jumped up two and not ninety. Still, I that's that's pretty. Uh, never mind. <laughs> oh man. All right. Guess I'll take the one person I can. That would be awesome if I could somehow level up the prisoners and then sell them for just so much money. Because I could level up all these forest bandits in like a single night. Oh, that would be so cool. I train them and then I sell them. Oh, I don't want that. What's this? Dale Chicken? Eh. I would go after the other forest bandit there, but I'm already almost full on slaves, prisoners, whatever. I'll get them later. Alright, so this is probably going to be the end of this episode. I will try to spend some more time with this game, and then hopefully next time I will make a run at the Swadian Castle. Um, and then get our kingdom started, which would be pretty exciting. As long as it works out, as long as the Rodox don't immediately declare war on me, or the God of the Norse declare war on me. That would be a very quick, quick um, rise and fall of power. So anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you all next time. Take care.